There's one. like a young Midtown family. This young Midtown family loves their neighborhood. Streets are whole lives. Yeah, Midtown native. But when Hernan De Los Santos and Zoe Sines were walking from Midtown to McKinley Park through the freeway underpass Friday with their young son and their dog, Potato. Yeah, that's him right there. And he's Potato he's was bitten hard by an aggressive dog owned by a man camping under the freeway. I was just like, I have to get this dog off of my dog or he's going to kill him, you know? And so I jumped in and I pulled this pit bull off of him and luckily he released him. But when I did that, like I was kind of holding him back still. And then this man started yelling at me for grabbing his dog. And we had a stroller with us too. We had our baby with us. And the man became hostile. The family backed away and called Sacramento police and 311 for animal control. We waited there maybe like 40 minutes afterwards and we were like, okay, like we can't hour. just wait around for someone to show up. Like we have to go home. Our dog we needed baby medical with us. attention. And yeah, we sent our, our dog to the ER. Yeah. Right. 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 Sacramento police confirmed to ABC 10 that they received a report of a dog biting another dog at J and 30th streets. The police said officers checked the area, but did not locate the dog or its owner. It's not the dog's fault, you know but that dog is aggressive and if anyone you know it's a pretty busy street if people are just like walking up and down and i don't think it's very safe safe for anyone else to be walking through there either for now this young midtown family is rethinking some things it's sad that we might have to avoid certain parts of our city in fear of these altercations yeah like where it's safe to walk in their own neighborhood We've also reached out to animal control and remain in contact with Sacramento police. At this point, we're not aware of whether they've actually been able to make contact with the aggressive dog or its owner. We'll keep you updated on air and online at abc10.com.